City of St. Catherine's Culture Days 2021 presents a traditional pencil and paper animation 12 drawing walk cycle demonstration by Danny Mollick. Hi, this is Danny for City of St. Catharines Culture Days to teach, instruct, uh, 12 drawing, walk cycle, and pencil and paper animation in the Disney tradition. Now, uh, the purpose of a walk cycle, the reason why it's so important is that you can loop a walk cycle into infinity by attaching the last drawing to the first drawing digitally. And then you can work out all your your arcs of motion, your squash, and your stretch, and all the basic foundational principles of animation. And uh, what you're gonna need, we're gonna start off with a treadmill, and this is what a treadmill looks like on an Acme animation paper. And uh, we're gonna draw one of these, starting from starting from the beginning. Now, what you'll need is some supplies. You'll need animation paper, Acme, register. This is Acme registered animation paper like you saw with three holes in there. Uh, this is an Acme. You can get that on the on Amazon. It's not a big deal. You can get all this stuff on the internet. Just order online. This is an Acme registered peg, peg bar. It's by Chroma Color. This will make sure your paper is stays in the same spot when you put them on and you can, uh, rem can rem retain consistency. You'll also need some colored pencils or a graphite pencil. I got Colorace, Prismacolor, these are animation standard. I'm going to be using blue today, red, and I'll be using a graphite that 12B HP pencil. And if you don't have these, just use a gra graphite pencil, it's not a big deal. You'll need uh, some elastics. The purpose of the elastics is to keep the paper on. So when you're flipping it, you flip the paper with your hand and then you keep the elastics on so they don't fall off. Uh, you're gonna need a ruler for your treadmill right here. So you're going to, that's the only point we're going to use a ruler because they always taught us, told us, you got to learn how to draw freehand. Don't use guides, but I'm getting older and I say, forget, I'm just using a ruler for the mechanical stuff. I'm too old for this. You'll need an animation desk or an animation disc. You can just work this on your table too, but it's a plexiglass disc and then the light shines through it. So you can see your your field guide, which is your grid. You can get, these are expensive, but I'm sure you can photocopy your own grid on a piece of paper or something if you don't have anything. It's called the animation field guide, or field chart. Uh, you're gonna need some sort of camera mount. I have a professional Manfrotto Magic Arm 143A kit, which was about $300, but you can get them uh, camera mount for a cell phone for about 20-30 bucks on Amazon, no big deal, and you'll have the same operation. Uh, that's to put your camera into the computer, but we'll talk about that later. And you'll need some tape just to tape your peg bar onto the desk. So we're going to start off by doing a field guide, and then we'll do the 12 drawing walk cycle. And I'll be explaining everything as I go. So I hope you enjoy Danny's Culture Days 2001, 2021 extravaganza walk cycle. Okay, so here's we're gonna start off with the with the treadmill. Now I got my ruler out, my straight edge. We're just going to draw a character. I kind of measured it with the grid before the proportions. That one line is not supposed to be there. I just, I'll fix it later. So we're going to draw a stride on the treadmill first, just to get our measurements right, proportions, stuff like that. Here we go with the red pencil to draw the line. This only time we use a line. I'm sure with the stick man you can use a straight edge. I just... 
I only use it for the treadmill. That one goes on the back. We make it in three dimensions there, right? So the treadmill shows a bit of depth by pushing one in the back and putting another diagonal, the front foot and the back foot. Treadmill. Now we're going to number it. So we cut in the middle. That the first foot is, what is that? That's that's one. Let's get that right. That's one. That's seven. That's one. That's seven. That's ten. That's four. That's a mid stride. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and that's a treadmill. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to do the walk. Start off with drawing number one. We're just going to do a trace back. These are called trace backs when you copy from directly from a previous drawing. It's like your master drawing. So it stays on model. It doesn't walk, mutate or whatever. There we go. Simple enough. Now we're going to draw the down position. This is squash. I didn't put a lot of squash on this scratch on this walk, but it naturally happens when the character compresses. So he's this, this is the sec the, the second drawing in a tall drawing walk cycle is the lowest drawing. This is the low. So that one's done. So we're affecting gravity with the hands and they kind of float up there. They bounce back up or whatever, just gravity shook them up a bit there. So now here we're drawing, oops, mistake, this is it. We got the number three. Oh no, we're doing the mid stride. There we go. So this one's high. But either the mid stride number four or drawing number five will be the highest, but that's up to your own preference. I usually put the mid, the I mean the mid stride below the number five. Five is usually the highest for me. So I avoided going over the crotch just because of Freudian psychology. I don't want to deal with it. So the, the the arms should be like pendulums, but I really speeded it up. Everything, so these. The camera's at twice the speed, just so you don't get bored watching this. But it's nice to hear the crinkle of the paper. Too bad we can't hear that. So this is the high, number five. So we're swinging the arms like pendulums. You can have arcs of motion on there. You can draw a trace, like a blur, a screen blur, with your with your scribbling or your doodling when you're getting bored drawing this. And then you can make smoother actions. You can follow the previous drawings on the same page, on the top page. I don't do that here, though. It's just something we taught us to do as an aid. We're just drawing a stick, man. After this, we're going to draw the, a dude. You can draw a dude out if you want. It's the same thing. Just make a hourglass, two triangles touching each other at a point uh, for the body. And it has an hourglass figure. And you can make it a dude and just put some hair on it. Long hair or something. So that's the high. Number five. doing number seven now. Very similar to the trace back. Just so everything's opposite.
Okay, so we're going to fill in number six. Looks like. See, so you, you, there's straight ahead animation, there's key drawings and in betweens and stuff like that. So I'm doing key drawings. You can do a straight ahead drawing starting 1 through 12, which I'll do on the dude. That's because the work is already done, the mechanics are already done. But keys and in betweens, I'm doing the keys first and the in betweens after. In the old Disney animation, they used to designate jobs to in betweeners and key animators. So one piece of animation might have like five different pe people working on it. And uh, no one can really claim that they did that all themselves. But with technology, you can do it all yourself and say, This is my animation. No one helped me with it. And I, I know I can show this off to my friends or my sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, so animation is a lot of fun. Animation is a lot of fun. There's the down on the other side. This is the, the feet are reversed. Now, for the second half of the, the stick man walk cycle, uh, It's just doing something similar to the first seven. So the f first seven are similar to the last seven. And there's no drawing number 13. Drawing number 13 is one again. But, uh, but you have to think in a different kind of math for, for drawing on this paper. It's really confusing. But when you do a loop, the last drawing is the first drawing. That's the best way to say it. Yeah, so which drawing are we on now? Which one are we doing? Number, number four? No, number, number 10. That foot's raised. Yeah, so now this is the high for the other side. Swing it like a pendulum. Yeah, so this is, it's almost done. It's just, now you, you can see the numbers in the corner of the page. You can put any notes you want to put on to keep track of everything. You should just circle the, the key drawings. And you can put notes for highs and lows and squash and stretch. And you can do little timing things for, for secondary action. There's secondary action, which is like the swinging arms on the body, the pendulum. And there's tertiary action, which is like hair swinging around and stuff like that. Uh, and ripple action, if there's a tail on the character. So 12, we're up, up to 12. Almost done, we're in the clear. And I've done better walk cycles than this, but it just, uh, you, I'm showing you this with as much speed as possible. 
just so you, you don't get lost in the detail because there's one thing about animation and drawing is that a, to be an old Disney animator you had to know how to draw and animate but so much of digital media and software and apps you allows you to animate without knowing how to draw but what what an advantage it is to be able to draw and animate at the same time and there's no less merit to any other kind of animation. It just, it's, it honors tradition. So that's it. Let's see it. There we go. He's walking. Yeah, not too much squash and structure. But you can see the, the highs and the lows. It is squashing. And the hands, the hands got a little jive action. It's a bit jaunty, I'd say. But uh, it works. It's got some character to it. So there we go. We're all, uh, after this, we're just enjoy the walk. And after this break, we'll go and put the character on. We're going to do books Danny the Animator recommends for animation. Richard Williams, the Animator's Survival Kit. Animals in Motion, Eat Weird, Boy Bridge, The Illusion of Life by Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnson, An Atlas of Animal Anatomy for Artists, W. Allenberger, H. Dietrich, H. Baum, and edited by uh, Louis S. Brown, and any anatomy, animation, or cartooning book you can find. Okay, we're back. So we've done uh, the Stickman walk cycle. Looks pretty good. Now we're gonna add a character over top of it. We're gonna put a body on him. Now it, it's it's you can you there's you can look online for character sheets. I I did one of Ringo in college, which you can see. Uh, these help you get used to drawing a character, but you draw them in all sorts of poses, gestures, emotions. And uh, you learn the character inside out, and then you throw it over your stick man. Uh, to keep it simple, we're just going to be doing a dude. And if you want to do a woman, you can do a dude simply by drawing, instead of the stick man as a rectangle, as a triangle. And then it has the hourglass form you can put around it, just like you see on the drawing of the dudette. So, any character you came up with in uh, school, you can just draw now the easiest one. And then, unless you want to try something challenging, you can look for model sheets online. But for this exercise, we're doing a dude. Uh, so, we're gonna get down to it. That's all there is to it. Let's just, let's just try to wrap this up. Okay, let's get down to it. Uh, the character now, the dude. This is pretty straightforward. Not really gonna do any traits back. It's pretty simple. It's putting some meat on these line drawings here. So, yeah, just use it as a center line, the stick man. Balance it out if it doesn't line up with your treadmill. You have some space to do that. It's so simple. There was there was an anatomist called Robert Beverly Hale. There's there's books by him and stuff in lectures, and he believed in one written in one anatomy book that uh, everyone has a little character inside their head that they draw. Every time they draw a person, or whatever it's a stick man or a starfish, or I know of Johann Goethe, the writer of Faust, called it the homunculus, the representative, a figure representing the soul. But yeah, it just when you draw your dude or dudette, it's just the first thing that comes to mind. We got a pair of t-shirt and jeans and it combs his hair or whatever, basic dude.
can't mess it up. First thing that comes to mind. So the these steps are a lot faster. You see, I'm I'm just trying to rough it in. If I was to do this for a finished product, I'd go over, I test it on the on the camera, and I would I would fix up all the little glitches and stuff like that. But this one's got a lot of life to it, anyways. Just cleaning it up. The color race are really easy to erase. I'm using a darker one, but you can see how much darker the pencil is. Blue is the standard color they use. It was just for non photo re reproduction when they had Xerox photocopiers. But you can use any color you want. Prismacolor color race has 24 different colored pencils. So you can pick your colors, that your favorites or whatever sticks out the most or is less obvious when you're doing light drawings. So I'm just drawing and you can see the arms are kind of weird, but that's not a big deal. You can just kind of balance it out with these graphite drawings here. And what looks like a weird drawing in one piece of paper, when you play the sequence all together, you don't even notice it as being awkward. Yeah, so we're on drawing number seven. I think we're we're halfway there. And again, this is at twice the speed of of real time, it's just so you don't get bored watching this. Drawing number eight now. This is the low. You can see how handy it is to have an eraser. You just always go back and it clean up your lines or as soon as you define the final line. Eyeballs, haircut, mouth, that's all you need. Move so fast, this guy's like... It's like he won a scratch ticket at the, at the corner store and he's going to return the lottery ticket. You can come up with a story like that, who knows, you can draw a story with all these. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward. If you got, if you ever have trouble keeping on model, you can just draw on the on on the what treadmill you do you do that and just do trace backs. There's just no need. It was coming from straight from your imagination. The wobbles give it more character, and the, the variations give it more character, and the life and the. In, uh, the video of the animation. Oh, and looks like we're almost done. This drawing number 12, it, look, 12 it looks like. Yeah. And we're done. Just tidy this up a bit. 12, I don't know, 10, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's done. Now let's go to the videotape replay. Yeah, so we got some squash and stretch on there. We got some pendulum action on the arms. 
a nice treadmill. Yeah, that's our dude. Just chilling out. That's about it. And this is done at 10 drawings a second at every three frames another drawing. So that was the Culture Days 2021 City of St. Catharines, Danny's Moik's Walk Cycle with Sick Man and Character. Now, the thing is, you gotta know how to put this in the computer. Now, there's a lot of different software out there, and I just use Adobe After Effects. I don't know if anyone else uses this. But all you gotta do is, uh, the standard for film nowadays is 30 frames a second per second. So you just go into film editing software, Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, I use iMovie as well for Mac, and just put each drawing at three frames per second and just keep looping it into infinity. Just go copy pasta, make some copy pasta, make a whole bowl of it. <laughs> uh, you can play around with timing too. Space and time is all what animation's about. So, uh... And if you don't have, any, you don't want to do any of this technology, you're too intimidated, you can't afford it, it's not a big deal. Do what I did in grade six. I made a notebook, and I just drew pictures in the corner and I animated them. It's simple like that. I just did this in grade six. Just uh, any notebook or whatever with empty paper on the side. Or I got these at the, around Christmas, flipbook paper. It's the same thing, but it's professional. I just, it's got screws in it. You can undo the screws and make the books at any size you want or take drawings out. I never put anything in this one. We just flip it the same way. It's really good quality. So that's Culture Day says to Catherine 2021. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, I'll have some extra notes for everyone, just so you can do your t the, the instructional video at home, or learn from it. Okay, ciao, ciao. This activity is funded in part by the St. Catharines Cultural Investment Program. Workspace and support provided by Start Me Up Niagara Work Action Center. Working together, moving forward. Next steps to employment. AV Guy, Jesse Frank Matthews. Self-Employment Communications Coach, Sandy Middleton. Special thanks, Tony and Lydia. My lady friend. Subscribe to my Diddy Mog YouTube channel for more cartoons and uh, drawings and other stuff. Okay, thank you, bye.